All right, Uncle Sam FM here, and I am back. This is episode 12 of the Iron Manager series with uh, Coach Tony Stark as he leads Nashville SC. And uh, <clears throat> last video, we saw uh, our first match in the U.S. Open Cup. It was a 2-1 to one win at Seattle. Since then, it's been, it was pretty good. Uh, we actually, immediately after the win against Seattle, we went to Minnesota, who we had actually played the week before. And we got our first road win of the season. It was a 2-1 to one victory uh, against the Loons. Then we came home, <clears throat> played against Real Salt Lake. And we dominated the match. Walker Zimmerman scores on a corner. And then they immediately equalized on a free kick. And so we ended up with a 1-1 draw. That was a really hard, that was a tough pill to swallow because we sh absolutely should have won that game. <clears throat> Look, you see 22-4. to four. Uh, shots, uh, clear-cut chances. We had one. We had four half chances, and yet we only managed to get one point out of that. So that was a disappointing um, draw. <clears throat> the next couple of matches. So we go to FC Dallas. We uh, I had it was mostly a kind of a second team that I trotted out. We still were the better team over the course of the match, but we just couldn't find the net, and so we had to settle for a point. But it was a road match, so hey, you know, whatever success we can get on the road this year, I'm taking. <clears throat> then we go to Seattle, uh, our Open Cup uh, victim, and we took a one to nothing win against the Sounders. So we got two uh, wins over Seattle this year. I think we play, well, yeah, we play them at home in July. So um, that was a good result. And then we went to Sporting Kansas City. Brian Anunga gets sent off uh, in the 21st minute after we had given up a penalty in the seventh, and we were never really we we <clears throat> we controlled possession, but without that 11th player, we never were really able to create m much in the way of actual scoring chances, and they piled on with a couple goals late, and so we lost three to nothing, and that's where we are. Uh, we'll look real quick at where we sit on the table. We are third in the Western Conference. Um, oops, go here. <clears throat> third in the Western Conference. We're six points off the pace, and LAFC has a game in hand on us. So that's um, yeah, they're they're actually widening the gap because we're not we're not getting well, we're losing and or drawing, and so <clears throat> we've we got to start winning some of those matches that we should be winning. We did we swept the series against Minnesota United though and they're in fourth place. So that's a good I think that's a good sign. Um, we still are yet to play the Dynamo, I think. Or wait, no, no, we did play them once. Yeah, we drew them away. Uh, Vancouver, pretty sure we beat Vancouver. Yeah, I got a 2 nothing win against Vancouver and then we just saw the win over Seattle. So uh, the teams that are actually in the top seven, we've had pretty good results against. Uh, we beat LAFC, who is leading the conference. Uh, San Jose, we, we did lose at San Jose. So that's the only team in the top seven that we've not at least had a draw against. So, um, yeah, so that's, you know, that's where we sit. Um, 20 games left to play in MLS, so, <clears throat> you know, long way to go. Still 60 points dangling out there. Um, we're obviously not going to get all 60 of those, but if we can just sit kind of right where we are, right in that, right in that group, um, that I can live with that. Obviously, hey, if we could get the number one seed, that would be awesome. But because then we get home advantage through the Western Conference playoffs. But um, that might be asking for a bit much with the team that we have. Now the team we have is good. It's going to be getting better. But it's not there yet. I mean, you still have some some growing and developing to do. <clears throat> but um, that's where we're at. So we are going to try and win this U.S. Open Cup match today. We are playing against the Galaxy. The Galaxy, I believe they did just play a match. Let's see. No, nope, they've had a week off. So they're going to come in mostly fresh. But I rested my guys in that Sporting Kansas City match. And I paid for it, obviously. But uh, hopefully it will... <clears throat> Man, I'll make my guys a little more likely to uh, move on in the cup. <clears throat> so I'm going to, uh, because they've got that an, uh, attacking midfielder and the two strikers, I'm going with my 4 2 1 3, with the, where I drop my 8 back, um, plays in kind of a holding role instead of up. 
So I've got two defensive midfielders. <clears throat> Again, theory is so that I'm playing with four on three in that area of the pitch. And here we have possibly a build up here. Dunlotti and Dotson. Okay, get some space, guys. Dunlotti now. Oh, he was fouled, but play on, says the ref. Dunlotti attacks the area. Cardi to Fuendo de la Fuente, whose shot is saved, so we get a corner. <clears throat> McCarty, the corner into the area, and can't do anything with that. So we're getting lots of shots, but not really having anything to show for it. <clears throat> LAFC, or LA Galaxy seem content. Oh, what was that, Cody Cropper? You just gave, he just rolled the ball out to the Galaxy attacker. Zimmerman heads the corner away. <clears throat> that feels like like the um, that was one of the worst keeper mistakes I've ever seen. It's like Cropper is taking money from the betting agents. Uh oh, Pavon. There, Cropper makes the save. Galaxy starting to find their way a little bit here. We need to uh, get things back together. Cropper there just thumps it down the field. That's not that's not Nashville ball. And now Pavon again. Come on. This is this is that's what happens when you're just dumping the ball down the field. Let's get the ball. Let's build it up. Alright, Mukhtar's free kick. Ricochets off the wall. Here goes Pavon again. Pavon drops it. <clears throat> Swings it back to the middle. Alright, so uh halftime. Um, we were the better team, but the Galaxy might have had the better chances. Uh, and that's, you know, that's not entirely surprising. They've got a tough trio. Probably should have went over this before we... Uh, real quick, just to look at the, the Galaxy attacking three. You've got Chicharito. Everybody knows Chicharito, right? Finishes, you know, he's... I mean, I don't know. I, I Whatever you want to... To call him uh, yeah poacher that's exactly what i was thinking he is you know i've watched him play enough with mexico to know that that's his game he's kind of a poacher um reminds me a little bit of um uh oh the mexican striker that had that stare down with gucci Onyewu. i can't think of his name now but very similar player uh but he's very good right he can finish and, that, and then you have christian pavon who is an argentinian he's somewhat young but um, he's one of those guys that, <clears throat> yeah, work rate. He can just run all day. Um, he, you know, never tires, never fatigues. So he's going to be a challenge. And then behind them, you've got Efrain Alvarez, who's one of the most promising American youngsters. Um, so <clears throat> they, their attacking three is very good. And then, oh, yeah, by the way, Jonathan Dos Santos, who is one of the regulars in the Mexican national team. Where the, what did it say? It's cat. 54 caps. You know, very good player, very technical. Um, so he's, you know, a challenge. You got Joe Corona, who, while he's not at those other players' levels, he probably would start for me if I had him. So the Galaxy have a very good team. <clears throat> so the fact that we are uh, actually, whatever, kind of playing, we are the better team in this match in the first half is, is somewhat encouraging. So now let's see if we can steal a win here. You can tell that the Galaxy strategy, they're playing cautious. Yeah, the Galaxy, wanna, they want to sit back and let the front three score the goals. <clears throat> oh, Dunlady had it. That was a nice through ball there, and we get the corner. Yeah, you've got the other... Hey, oh, and we get, a, we get a goal on a corner kick. Walker Zimmerman gets his second goal of the year. Rises above Walker Zimmerman. Yeah, just beats his defender, heads it in. He, he was marked, but just did a better job there. So now I'm gonna drop down to balanced just in, just to see what till I see what LA's doing there. Yeah, they're about the same. Oh Nazarene almost with another goal in a corner. Mukhtar mm, trying to get across in there, but can't find anything. All right, so here we here we get the ball. <clears throat> Cam to Donlotti, Donlotti to Godoy, to De La Fuente, Godoy to Nazarite. Ah, come on, come on, come on. 
Cropper switches to Zimmerman, and we go up the left side now. Dotson can't find anybody. Dunlady. And here, Dotson gets it again. We're being pretty methodical. Cardi puts it into Cam, who scores, and we've got a two nothing lead on the Galaxy. And now we are about thirty, well, about forty minutes away from moving on to the round of sixteen. That's just a great. I was really maybe a hopeful ball that McCarty played through there, but a Cam gets on the end of it, puts it away, and we're up two nil. Watch it again here, McCarty. He's in a little trouble. He just turns and whips that ball. <laughs> I guess not, not a terrible idea. <clears throat> All right, Galaxy now. I'm trying to get back into this thing. Mm, Oliveira. Ooh, Oliveira lets his man get behind him. Oh, I thought that was a goal for sure. I'm probably not going to use my third sub unless I absolutely have to. Just in case the Galaxy can tie. <clears throat> Oh, that's a good through ball. Chicharito, though, could not finish. Oh, whew, offside. <laughs> Breck Shea was offside on that. <clears throat> I mean, if he was, it was just barely. Well, no, actually about two or three yards there. Madranda now with the ball to McCarty. Madranda to McCarty. McCarty goes long again, and another long, hopeful McCarty pass created another shot. Cardi, I mean, what do you say? <laughs> uh, I give my number eight a longer passing range, and uh, so I'm going to take credit for that. And I'm probably not going to edit this one like I have been. And there it goes. Dax McCarty. I, I got to give him the player of the game today. Uh, yeah, he had two assists. Both of the assists were his. He must have taken that corner. So, big win. That's um to knock the galaxy out for the second year in a row <clears throat> and to for us to move on <clears throat> again the u.s open cup i take it seriously i try to win the open cup i adjust my lineup to make sure that my, i'm able to put a fresh best 11 on the pitch because it's it's truth is it might be the the easiest way into the champions league um so looking ahead yeah we got colorado springs in the round of 16 that's a usl championship team i feel like i can so that that's a good draw for us yeah looking at their team um <clears throat> well i don't know anything about their team i, I don't recognize any of these names so good win um That'll put us into the round of 16 against Colorado Springs. McCarty, <clears throat> what can you say? Uh, he just had a good, good, great game. You know, he's, he's one of my older players, one of my leaders. He's one of my mentoring guys right now. Um, I wish I could. I'm not probably not going to be able to keep him beyond this season, but gotta hey, got to hand it to him. He was the difference today. Uh, beautiful through ball. That was, again, he was really kind of closing his eyes and hoping for the best. Uh, but, well played. We scored the goal, and then the corner kick uh, gets us the second goal. And so the, we, uh, we win, we move on, and we'll be playing Colorado Springs. So we'll look forward to that. This is Uncle Sam FM signing off. I will see you next time. <laughs>